today I'm conducting an experiment to do with this. Specifically to do with this. Specifically on this camera. This is a 100mm macro, so we might be getting a bit close and comfortable here. It's all for science. Okay, let me just push this back as far as it can go. So, let me paint the picture. Um, when I first kind of saw this happening, I was shooting an interview. Um, I was handheld and I had image stabilization on the lens and I also had image stabilization on the camera. So the lens actually has like a mechanical image stabilization, it's kind of like on a spring, like almost like a three axis gimbal, I would say I've never actually seen one. Then on the EOS R, the stabilization that it uses is more a kind of digital stabilization. So it kind of, it might crop in just a touch and then changes the image depending on how shaky you are. What I noticed happening was that while I was, while I was holding the camera, filming at the person, their, their head was kind of taking up, taking up about this much in the frame. Okay, so it was quite a close, quite a close angle and they were talking blah 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 blah, moving their head around. And what I noticed, because I had both of the stabilizations on, I had the lens stabilizer and the camera stabilizer on, what I noticed is when the head would move, the image would kind of move even though I was keeping it still and you could kind of see the background moving, just as a reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the lens stabilization and we're going to turn on the uh, camera stabilization and see which one it was, whether it's a mixture of two, whether it's a, just the one. My current feeling is that it is going to be the uh, stabilization on the camera because that's like a digital kind of a thing. It's like the sensor's not on a gimbal that's sensing movement. Um, it's the image noticing if there's a bit of shake in it. So let's do that and experiment. All right, so this is the image with both the lens stabilization on and the camera stabilization on. So Technically, this should be the most stable thing ever, but if I get close to it and move my head around, maybe if I move my head around here, maybe I'm just looking like an absolute dickhead trying to recreate this. Is it moving? I don't know. So basically, I'm just trying to move the background with my head. This is like some Matrix shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we are uh, being handheld. As you can see, it's kind of shaky. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this with a 100mm lens normally because it's just way too shaky. Alright, putting the uh, image stabilization on in the lens. So obviously, you can hold it. A lot better. Man, that looks so much better. Making it quite a lot smoother. Digital inbuilt stabilization in the camera. But this isn't the enhanced option, this is just a little bit. So, this will be a lot better than no stabilization at all. But you can still kind of see a little bit of the jitter in my hand. Alright, and this is enhanced digital image stabilization in the body. So, you can see it's kind of, it's cropped in quite a lot from when it was no stabilization. So there is a crop factor if you want to worry about that. I'm trying to hold it as still as I can at the moment, but there's still like a little bit of a jitter. And I think maybe the enhanced mode is almost overcompensating because I don't feel the jitters that I'm doing are actually making the image do that. It is interesting however that uh, when you go into the menu settings and select 
digital image stabilization on your camera, it does say switch on image stabilization on the lens. So I've just switched that on. Holy crap, that's stable. That's not shaking at all. How do they do that? This looks like a tripod shot. That's pretty good stabilization. The only thing is that it still looks like the digital stabilization is overcompensating a bit. And so when I try and do like a nice smooth pan, it almost tries to stop it in parts and it just kind of almost like slowly clicks clicks over instead of making one movement. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Which might have been the thing that I was noticing when filming the subject. All right, and we are back to the 35 mil lens. So, I think we noticed the same thing that I was noticing on the shoot. Um, so, basically what I saw was if you put the enhanced image stabiliz stabilization on the uh, camera mixed with the uh, stabilization in the lens, it almost tries to glue onto the subject a bit too much and it tries to, it almost overcompensates. So when you go to do like a nice smooth pan or a tilt, um, it almost thinks that that movement, what you're doing is a mistake. So it tries to correct it um, until you go too far for it to keep correcting. So it has to push it back to the middle. What I would suggest is if you're going handheld with image stabilization, um, I would tend to opt for the lens. First off, because it's a physical stabilization. So it actually feels your movements and it's not just trying to guess from the image. Second off, it doesn't have that crop factor. Um, that happens when you try the digital stabilization. But we did see that any stabilization is better than no stabilization at all. If you do want a tripod shot, if you want a tripod shot and want to be like stupidly still handheld, uh, then I definitely would recommend doing the uh, digital stabilization in the camera and the, uh, and the stabilization in the lens uh, because that was insane. It, was, it, it felt like I was a tripod. I've never felt so stable in all my life. Oh. <laughs> cool. That's all I need to know. Yes, let me know what uh, stabilization you preferred. What do you prefer shooting with? Do you prefer any lens? Do you like the shake? Is it good to have a bit of shake in your life, you know? Let me know in the comments down below. Cool. Alright. Sweet. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.